Okay, so a bank loaned out $23,500, part of it at 9% annual interest, and the rest at 15. The total interest earned on both loans was uh, $2,805. How much was loaned at each rate? Okay, well, hmm. this, is a, this is a good little word problem here. So um, we're going to let X be the amount loaned at the 9%, Y be the amount loaned at the 15%. If we have two letters, you know we need two equations, right? So I'm going to have to get two equations. What, what's the first one? First one is just total, total dollars. So in other words, the amount at 9% plus the amount at 15% must equal 23,500 because that's the total dollars we have. And then there's also the interest equation. How's that one? Well, if you if you invest money at 9% interest, it's going to be 0 0.09 times the amount of money that you get in interest. And right that right if you if you say I'm going to put you know like a hundred dollars in an account at nine percent then it'd be then how much interest you would get from that would be 0 0.09 times a hundred. To find out how much interest you get from an account, then what you have to do is you have to multiply the interest rate by the amount you invested. Well, X is the amount loaned at 9%, Y is the amount loaned at 15%. So 0 0.09 times X is the amount of interest you get out of the first account, and 0.15 times Y is the amount of interest you get out of the second account, and the total interest earned for both loans is $2,805. So there's our two equations. So with two letters, you need two equations. The first one is just total dollars, X and Y. Total, right, the, the bank loaned out $23,500 total. Part of it at 9%, part at 15. There's a total interest. So we have a total equation and an interest equation. Okay, now, now we need to solve uh, these two equations. How are we going to do it? Well, I think the easiest thing to do would be substitution. So I'm going to be <clears throat> so I'm going to solve by substitution because x has no number. Right, there's no number right here in front of that X. So that makes it easy. So just get X alone there. So let me just take this. So step one, get X alone in the top equation. I'll just take that top equation, get X alone. So we have X plus Y is 23,500. And we can just subtract y from both sides, right? And so <clears throat> what do we get? X is 23,500 minus y. And then step two, plug x into the bottom equation. So that's how substitution always works. You get one letter long in one equation, then plug it into the other. So I'll take that bottom equation now and bring this one down here. Put on my x. It's 28.05. I'm going to grab this right here. Plug it in for x right there. So what do we get then? We get 0 0.09 times x, which is 22,500 minus y plus 0.15y is 2,805. Okay, so now, <clears throat> now we distribute through the parentheses. So now we just have one letter notice, so this is easier, right? We get as we distribute on through 
0.2115 minus 0.09y plus 0.15y equals 2805. And so combine these together. Oh, and let's let's go ahead and subtract. Both sides like that. And we get um, so these two. Make point oh six y. And then subtract those other two. And what do you get? I guess you get um, I don't know. Can't tell. You get six ninety. Last step, divide by the point oh six. Boom. So y equals eleven thousand five hundred. So there's y. So step one: solve by substitution, get x alone, plug x in the bottom. Then step three: plug y equals. 1,500 in anywhere. So the easiest place would be that top equation for sure. X plus Y is 23,500. That's for sure the place. X plus Y. 23,500. Plug in Y right there. X plus 11,500 is 23,500, subtract 11,500 from both, and we get x equals, what is that, 12,000? Yeah, 12,000. So x is 12,000. So there we go. So 12, x is 12,000, y is 11,500. So x right here, x is 12,000, y is 11,500. We get rid of the x and the y there. That was the x and that was the y. So x is, uh, again, 12,000, y is 11,500. There we go. So how do we do that? Again, recapping on that one real quick. So they give us some... Um, you, you have a total, double, you have two letters, X and Y, because you have two accounts, so you know you need two equations. You have one equation, which is total dollars. So X plus Y is 23,500. That's the total amount the bank loans out from the two accounts. And then we have one that's an interest equation. And so that, you have to multiply the rate by the amount invested, 0.09 times X plus 0.15 times Y is the interest earned, 2805. Now to solve two equations with two letters, substitution is best because X has no number, I mean, you have no number in front of X or Y, it's easy to get that alone. So get X alone. There it is. Plug it in and get X alone in the top equation. And then step two, plug it into the bottom equation. Then you can solve for Y and plug that in anywhere to find the other letter X. And so there we go.